ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਔਨ ਅੰਗ 692 ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਬਾਈ ਭਗਤ ਕਬੀਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸਤਨਾਮ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਰਾਮ ਸਿਮਰ ਰਾਮ ਸਿਮਰ ਰਾਮ ਸਿਮਰ ਭਾਈ ਰਾਮ ਨਾਮ ਸਿਮਰਨ ਬਿਨ ਬੂਡ ਤੇ ਅਧਿਕਾਈ ਰਾਮ ਸਿਮਰ ਰਾਮ ਸਿਮਰ ਰਾਮ ਸਿਮਰ ਭਾਈ ਰਾਮ ਨਾਮ ਸਿਮਰਨ ਬਿਨ ਬੂਡ ਤੇ ਅਧਿਕਾਈ ਰਹਾਉ ਬਨਤਾ ਸੁਤ ਦੇਹ ਗ੍ਰਹਿ ਸੰਪਤ ਸੁਖ ਦਾਈ ਇਨ ਮੈਂ ਕਛ ਨਾਹੀ ਤੇਰੋ ਕਾਲ ਅਵਧ ਆਈ ਅਜਾ ਮਲ ਗਜ ਗਨਕਾ ਪਤਿਤ ਕਰਮ ਕੀਨੇ ਤੇਉ ਉਤਰ ਪਾਰ ਪਰੇ ਰਾਮ ਨਾਮ ਲੀਨੇ ਸੂਕਰ ਕੂਕਰ ਜੋਨ ਭਰਮੇ ਤਉ ਲਾਜ ਨ ਆਈ ਰਾਮ ਨਾਮ ਛਾੜ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਕਾਹੇ ਬੇਖ ਖਾਈ ਤਜ ਭਰਮ ਕਰਮ ਬਿਦ ਨਖੇਦ ਰਾਮ ਨਾਮ ਲੇਹੀ ਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਜਨ ਕਬੀਰ ਰਾਮ ਕਰ ਸਨੇਹੀ ਤਜ ਪਰਮ ਕਰਮ ਬਿਦ ਨਖੇਦ ਰਾਮ ਨਾਮ ਲੇਹੀ ਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਜਨ ਕਬੀਰ ਰਾਮ ਕਰ ਸਨੇਹੀ ਸਤਕਾਰ ਜੋਗ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟਿਡ ਭਗਤ ਕਬੀਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸਪੀਕਸ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਤਨਾਸਰੀ ਰਾਗਨੀ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟਿਡ ਭਗਤ ਕਬੀਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਇਸ ਟੋਕਿੰਗ ਟੁਡੇ ਟੂ ਅਸ and saying oh pai oh my brothers now is the time to meditate upon the lord we have this human life we are blessed with the gift of this human life and we must meditate upon wahiguru we must give up all the doubts and all the things which are holding us back and meditate on satnam sri wahiguru meditate upon the lord so pagat kabir sahib ji begins the shabat ram se mere ram se mere ram se mere bhai oh my brothers oh siblings oh fellow beings bhai bhai hai encapsulating all of those meanings Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji says three times. And in the Indian culture, it's said that there is an importance of the Tija Bachan, which means the third time someone says something. If someone says something to you once, then if you respect them and love them, you should really do it. If they say something to you again, then you should endeavor to do it but if someone says something to you three times it means in that indian culture it means that they're emphatically telling you that you must do this and if you turn down what someone has said three times it is said that there is no bond of love or understanding between you and that person to turn down 
something which has been said three times by someone means that you have no respect for them. So Pagd Kabir Sahib Ji is giving us this tijabachan. Three times Pagd Kabir Sahib Ji is telling us, Ram Simir, meditate upon Ram, upon that Lord who is pervading through all. Simir, meditate upon him. Remember him. Ram Simir, meditate upon him. Ram Simir, meditate upon the Lord. Pai, oh my brothers, I'm telling you this. Three times, this is my third bachan, this is my third word to you. And what else does this mean? Ram Simir, with your mind, meditate upon the Lord. Bring the image of the Lord into your mind. Think of God at all times. Ram Simir. Remember, we've talked about in past kathas, man, bani, sarir. Three ways, three spheres of the body that we have. The mind, the bani, the words that we speak, and the sarir, our body. Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji saying, Ram Simir, with your mind, think thoughts of the Lord. Think about Vaheguru. Think about the Guru. Think about accumulating virtues. Ram Simir, with your words, speak the words of the Guru. Speak the Gurbani. Speak the Guru Shabbat, the Guru's mantra, the Mool mantra. Ram Simir, with your body, serve the Guru and in this way meditate upon the Guru. Serve humanity and by serving humanity, Serve the Guru. Ram Simir, Ram Simir, Ram Simir, Pai, with your man, with your mind, with your bani, with your words, and with your sarir, with your body. O oh, Pai, O oh, brothers. Ram, Ram Simran, Bin, Bin without. Simran, meditation upon Ram, Ram, Nam, the name of Ram, of Vaheguru. Budte Adikai. Pagat Kabir Sahibji says that Adikai, Adikai means people who are great, people who have considered themselves great. Those who have considered themselves the greatest, even they have been burte, even they have burte means to drown, even they have drowned in this ocean of the world. Why? Because they haven't meditated upon the name of Ram, the name of Vaheguru, the name of the Lord. Rahal, Bhagat Kabir Sahib says, pause and think about this. This is the crux. This is the center of the Shabbat. Like the center of a flower, from which all the fragrance casts out through the petals all round. And the petals all surround that centre of the flower in the same way. And this that whole line is telling us that, that this is the crux of the Shabbat. This is the centre of the Shabbat. And all fragrance of the meaning of the Shabbat is going to disperse from this. Banita, partners. Satguru Sahib Ji says, in Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, in Sukhmani Sahib Guru Arjan Dev Ji says, Jaha maat pita sut meet na paai. Jaha where your maat, your mother, pita, where your father, sut your sons, meet your, uh, your friends, na paai, and your brothers, in that place where they can't help you. Satguru Guru Arjan Sahib Ji says Jah maat pita sut meet na paai man Oh my mind Uha naam tere sang sahai In that place The name of the Lord can save you And in this line Pakhat Kabir Sahib Ji says Banita Your spouse Your husband or your wife Sut your sons Your children Deh your body Greh your house Sampat all of the possessions Which you've got together with your body Sukhadai, which you believe, give you, Dai means to give, Sukh means happiness, which you think will give you happiness. Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji is saying to us that we think that these things will give us happiness. But Bhagat Ji gives us the truth and the reality. In straight up words, In me kach nahe tero, in me, amongst this, in means amongst me, in, within this, in me means amongst this, kach means something, nahe tero. Anything nahe tero is not it does not belong to tero does not belong to you none of this will help you in the end. At what point, Pagat Sahib Ji, Pagat Sahib Ji says kal avad ai. When the avad, avad means the time, kal means death. When the time of death ai comes, avad also means the. That which cannot be cut, that cut which cannot be broken. Avad also means 
that which cannot be destroyed. Avad also means that which cannot be extended. Avad. So that point of death which cannot be extended, it cannot be destroyed, it cannot be broken. When that death comes, then all of these things which you've hung on to, which you've clung on to, they will all disappear in an instant. After this harsh reality, Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji says, Ajamal Gaj Ganaka Patit Karma Kine. Bhagat Sahib Ji gives us the example, three examples of people that Bhagat Ji says, Patit Karma Kine, who have done karma, who have committed actions. Kine means to commit, who have committed karma actions which are patit, which are considered. Lowly, sin, sinful, which have committed sinful actions. And Bhagat Ji gives three, exams, three examples. The first example is of Ajamal. Ajamal was the son of a Hindu priest, a Brahman. And he used to study with another Brahman. And both his his... Brahman teacher and his father between his house Ajamal's house and between the teacher's house there were two ways to go the short way which was through a bazaar through a marketplace where there were dancing girls and prostitutes and the long way and both his father and his teacher both used to say to him never ever go the short way never ever go through that marketplace and he never did until one day when he came of age and he had learned all that he could his teacher sent him to the king to perform gatha to perform sermons and his teacher warned him and his father that in the court of the king many things go on perform your sermon pick up your book and come home and Ajamal went to the king's court but he didn't pick up his book after finishing the sermon he sat there for a bit of time and when he sat there a dancing girl came and she danced in the court of the king a prostitute came she danced and Ajamal was infatuated by what he had seen by this dancing girl and he followed her back into the marketplace and when the king found out about this Ajamal was meant to be a highly respected priest. He was meant to be giving sermons. The king said he has been polluted by going into the marketplace. He has given up his virtue and the king kicked him out. And following him, that dancing girl came as well. And they were kicked out into the jungles and they had nothing to eat. They used to eat wild animals, catch wild animals and eat them. And Pai Gurdas Ji mentions all this in his vara, patit ajamal paap kar jaye kalavatani de rahya. He went and stayed with a prostitute. Gurte be makhweke. He gave up his the words of his teacher. Paap kamave durmat dahya. And went into the web of paap, into the web of sins. And what happened one day? was that a saint came and stood outside the place where Ajamal and the prostitute used to live and he said, I need somewhere to stay, I need some something to eat. All they had was chickpeas. So they gave him chickpeas to eat and they gave that saint a place to stay at night. And he said to Ajamal, how many sons have you got? And he said, six. And the saint said, when the seventh son comes, name him Narayan, which means a name of the Lord. That's a name of, of God. And he called this seventh son Narayan. And when Ajamal was going to die, he was calling out Narayan, 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 Narayan. At first, he was calling out for his son but whilst he was laying on his deathbed, his thoughts went straight to God. And when his thoughts went straight to God, in that last very minute, 
He was saved from going into the hells. He was saved from all of that by remembering God even for an instant because he purified his mind within that instant and thought solely of Wahiguru, solely of God. Gaj, the elephant. This is a story of two brothers. There were two brothers and this story begins with a sage, a wise man called Chandrak Muni. Chandrak Muni was sitting in the jungle meditating upon the Lord and one of the brothers came upon an elephant and trashed all of the jungle, trashed all of the plants that Chandrak Muni, the wise old sage, had been looking after. And Chandrak Muni said, Why did you do this? And the brother laughed at the sage. And Chandrak Muni said to him, You will become an elephant in your next life. The next day, Chandrak Muni, the wise old sage, went to do Ishanan, went to go and have a bath in the river. And the second brother hid in the river and got hold of Chandrak Muni's ankle and pulled him down. And Chandrak Muni cried out, There must be a crocodile, there must be a crocodile in the water. And when he saw it was just one of the brothers, he cursed him as well and said, You will become a crocodile. A second story related to this is the two brothers, when their father died, the older brother took all of the money, all of the estate, everything, all of the riches and gave nothing to the younger brother. And the younger brother said, You have stolen from me, you will become an elephant. And the older brother laughed and said, If I will become an elephant, you will become a crocodile. So Patit Karmakini, that older brother stole from his younger brother and upset, upset a holy sage. But in their next lives, when the elephant went to that watering hole, went to that pond where the crocodile was living, when the elephant went into the water, the crocodile grabbed hold of him and started pulling him down into the water trying to drown him. And in that moment, the elephant, that older brother, all he could do was grab hold with his trunk a flower. He grabbed hold of a flower and held it up towards the sky and cried out, Oh God, please save me. And it said that God saved him at that point and cut him away from the crocodile with the Sudarshan Chakkar. Sudarshan Chakkar is a special type of weapon. And Ganaka, the third example. Ganaka was a prostitute. And Pai Gurdas Ji tells us that Ganaka Papan Hoyeke Papa da Galhar Purota. That Ganaka had done so much pap, it was this, she'd done so many sins that as if she had a necklace of sins around her neck. But one day, Mahapurk Achan Chak Ganka Vare Ay Khalota, that one day a great man, a great holy man, came and stood outside her house. Durmat Dek Dayal Hoy. And he became merciful when he saw that she was being plunged into sin and tried to save her. And he gave her a parakeet and said, Make this parakeet re repeat the name of God every day. Say, Make this parakeet say Ramanam. And every day she used to get up, have a bath in the early morning, the Amrit Vela, the early hours before the sunrise, and she used to get the, tell the parakeet to say the name of God. And whilst... She used to get the parakeet to say this every, every day, day in, day out. It affected her. She, through meditation, gave up all of her bad sins. She gave up her prostitution. She gave up all those things which were tying her down to sin. And she became purified. She became holy. And she was saved as well through the grace of that saint. So... Bhagat Kabir Sahib Ji is giving us the examples of how, how those great sinners were saved. Ajamal, Gaj, the elephant, Ganaka. Patid Karmakini, even though they committed 
karm actions which were patit which were lowly which were sinful teu uttar par pare teu they have been uttar par pare they have been they have crossed across this ocean of the world ram naam line by meditating upon the naam the name of waheguru the name of god in all of those stories it was the name of god which saved them whether it's the story of ajamal whether it's the story of the elephant or whether it's the story of ganaka is because they remembered god and meditated upon god that they were saved sukar kukar jon prame tau laaj na aai bhagat kabir sahib ji says that you have wandered talking to us bhagat kabir sahib ji says you have wandered in the jon in the incarnation in the life form of a sukar sukar means a pig and gurbani tells us when do we go into the life form of a pig ant kaal jo ladke simra aisi chinta mah je mara bhagat the lochan tells us on ang 526 that if we die remembering our children not remembering the lord sukar jon wal wal outar hai that we are born again and again as a pig and in sukhmani sahib guru arjan sahib ji tells us jiske antar raj apiman that person who has ego within ego of their power so narak pati hovat swan that person is reincarnated as a dog am pagat kabir sahib ji saying to us sukar kukar jon prame you have prame you have wandered around in these jon in these in, in these life forms as pigs and dogs tau laaj na aai didn't you have any laaj didn't you didn't you feel any shame ram naam shaad amrit you have given up the amrit the immortal nectar of god's name ram naam kahe bik khai kahe means why are you khai are you eating bik poison why are you completely engulfed in material gain whether it's through lying or cheating taj param karm bid nikhed pat kabir sahib ji says taj give up your param your doubts and your karm your meaningless actions of bid nikhed of do this don't do this go this way go that way if i do this much if i give this much to charity i'll get this much back if i do this much sin i'll be able to counter it with this much uh charitable actions no there is no selling and buying in the house of god ram naam lehi simply meditate upon ram naam the name of god lehi means to meditate upon gur prasad and with the guru's grace jan kabir pagat kabir sahib ji says ram kar sanehi through the guru's grace have sanehi have love for ram for that waheguru who is graceful who is merciful and who saved ajamal the elephant gaj and ganaka his name can save us also pagat kabir sahib ji saying may pagat kabir sahib ji do kripa upon all of us that this shabad implants itself upon up, uh, within all of our hearts and may we meditate upon waheguru ji taj param karm bid nikhed ram naam lehi gor prasad jan kabir ram kare sanehi waheguru ji ka khalsa waheguru ji ki fateh